All right, this is my Raspberry Pi firewall router. Um, I've had this, this is an original Raspberry Pi um, B. So it's, it's not the Raspberry Pi 2 or 3, this is the original Raspberry Pi. Um, you can identify it pretty quickly by the number of pins here. So um, originally they only came out with a B model and then they came out with an A later. So this is one of the very first ones that I bought when it first came out. And um, so, um, yeah, so basically it only has one Ethernet interface. Um, and uh, so we're using this as a router, so we needed two. So we added, a, that's an easily solvable problem. Um, we added a USB, uh, you, can, you can see the USB cable coming here to this external um, USB interface. And um, yeah, this thing has been up for like the last six or so years or more. It's, it's been a long time. And um, you, you can actually see more details about this in the, if you check the link in the description, you can get like the, the part. Um, they don't have the exact same part. It'll come in like a different color. There's an updated model now. But you, you can see like links to the part and, and like my whole write up on this in the, the link in the description. Um, and this actually connects up to, um, because this, this only has, this just has in, in and out. So this is the, the router and firewall, but not, it, it doesn't switch or anything. So um, we have, uh, it is connected to a gigabit switch. This is a Netgear port safe, um, GS108 gigabit switch. Um, and this gigabit switch, I literally pulled this out of a dumpster. I was walking by and it was sitting like on top of the dumpster and um, it was still in the shrink wrap. So I see the shrink wrap switch and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna grab that. Grabbed it, turns out it's, it's worth about $45 at the time that I grabbed it. So um, before this, I had some old Netgear router connected to connected to this Raspberry Pi firewall router. So, you know, downstream from the, the Raspberry Pi, I had this ancient Netgear router, which I've since um, uh, removed and up, I upgraded my network with this uh, nice little gigabit switch. Um, and this is totally fine for everything that I do now. I use this, um, I connect my NAS to this, I connect my PC, PCs to this and everything else. And this is downstream from like my, my uh, I'll put a, a diagram of my home network at some point. This is like in a, a further down network from, uh, from my Wi-Fi or anything else. So this is like further down and more protected. But um, yeah, in, anyways, yeah, just, just, just a quick, uh, and this is, I put this inside this, this old plastic container. And this is, this is a long time ago that I put this thing together. Um, so this is like an old, dusty, old container that's been sitting in this old closet for a long, long time. You can see, like, I cut a little, I cut a little um, notch out of the side of this container so that wires could go through. This used to have a top on it. It was an enclosed container, and uh, I, cut, I cut this little notch so that wires could go through. But um, it doesn't matter now as much. So since I've taken the top off, and I'm probably going to replace this whole thing. I'm probably going to upgrade this to, to a more powerful machine that can run um um that can run like uh snort and stuff like that but i actually almost want to put snort on a separate um you use a, an entirely separate device as a snort sensor and just build like a way more elaborate setup and put it in a much nicer looking case i'll build something out of wood and paint it to look all pretty and everything but for now yeah this is this is what powers my home network or at least my segment of my home network and and up from that there there are other segments that have other stuff on them um, but yeah, th this is it. So let's get some close-ups of that, right? Yeah, and look at that power cable. It's it's been there for so long, and it's 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 seen some abuse. It's barely sitting in there. Actually, this ancient power cable just barely holds in there. Like it, it comes loose so easily, and and the, the plug is actually bent. But even before that plug was bent like that, it, it was actually pretty finicky. And if you like bump it at the wrong angle, it'll lose power, and the whole thing will will turn off. Um, and a similar thing with this, this, uh, um, yeah, I, I've had issues with the, the, uh, network interface too. Um, I'm not sure if it's due to it being loose or, or, or what, what it was, but either way, basically just make sure all the plugs are, are tight and everything is good. And that solves most of my problems. This has been running Raspbian for many, many years. Um, l low attack surface, like no ports are open and, um, you know, you, you can't get it from the outside. Not nothing, no incoming ports at all. So it's, it's relatively safe. Um, 
I, I know a lot of people will say, oh, you have to have it updated and all this other stuff, but there's there's no attack surface on this. You can't even SSH in from the outside. You can from the inside. The inside of the network is um, not super safe. Um, yeah, let's get a close-up of these lights. And yeah, look at that. Look at that. Man, that's, that's a little dusty when you look at that up close with a camera like this. But look at that. Um, yeah, look at those ancient pins from this ancient Raspberry Pi using this... Look at that, Raspberry Pi, copyright 2011. There's that gigantic SD card that we, we stuck in there. And um, yeah, here's a zoom out for this, the whole thing. And yeah, there we go, that's it. That's my Raspberry Pi firewall router. S tucked away in this closet here, right next to my NAS.